Pope Benedict XVI officially resigns as leader of the Roman Catholic Church tomorrow. Today, he offered one final public address to the world. His eyes now turn to who his successor may be. Matt Markham explains what happens to the retired pope and how a man with local ties could take his place. In this moment of my life. The mass has ended. Go in peace. How fitting a phrase to describe Benedict's last audience. Usually the audience is, is uh, devoted to a, a talk on a biblical theme or a catechetical theme. Here he talked really right from the heart. Father Ken Doyle watched Benedict's message from his Albany parish like a curious reporter. In fact, he used to be one in Rome during John Paul's papacy. This pope knew his move was unusual, but just said it was time to go. I don't imagine that the vacancy will last too long uh, now. I think there'll be a couple days, maybe even a few days of meetings with the cardinals, preliminary meetings, and then they'll decide to go into conclave. The cardinals will meet tomorrow before Benedict moves to the papal summer residence and later an apartment at the Vatican for a prayerful ministry. Is Pope Benedict really just going to fade away? Uh, I don't think he'll fade away, but I think he, he really means to withdraw from any uh, administrative responsibilities or any kind of decisions or leadership role. So now begins the process when Catholics in the Albany Diocese will begin praying for a new pope, but they always will have a special connection to Pope Benedict. He canonized a Mohawk Valley saint. He met local people. Here he is with Dr. Joseph Murata and another holy man, some say, could become the next pope. I had never met a cardinal uh, in my life, and I didn't really know how to address him. But he got to know Cardinal Peter Turkson pretty well. He feels uh, a lot of attachment and an affection for this area. Uh, he attended the seminary uh, back in the early 1970s in Rensselaer. Turkson brought Dr. Murata to the priest's native Ghana to bring specialized orthopedic care to the poor. It's very exciting to think that, uh, you know, to know someone that is, uh, could be the next uh, leader of the, of the Catholic Church throughout the world. Matt Markham, CBS 6 News. South America and Africa have the world's fastest growing population of Catholics, and there has been a growing cry for the next Holy Father to come from there. 200 cardinals fill the church's ranks. Each cardinal must be under the age of 80 to vote, so 117 of them will choose the next pope.